Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me. I've got a really big project coming up where I'm picking a colour palette and I'm doing seven different fluid art techniques on one canvas. It's a really long canvas, seven panels, seven different techniques. So I want to get the colour scheme for this project right, spot on. So I'm going to go with some turquoises, but I'm throwing in a purple um, and I just want to check that it works okay. So I've just I've mixed up the paint, so I've decided to try a swipe. I'm going to lay the colours in a kind of diagonal pattern across the canvas and swipe, maybe even a patchwork swipe. I haven't done one of those for a long time. So I'm just really testing out the colours to see how they work together. So really excited to get started. So let me show you the colours. I'm hoping you can see the colours around the edge of the canvas here. I've got phthalo turquoise, silver, manganese blue, ultramarine violet light, I think it is, white, um, the Amsterdam blue green, the dark green blue colour and then Pebio iridescent blue green. So they're all mixed with PVA glue and water. They've all got coconut milk hair serum in which is in this shape bottle so they've all got some oil in. So I'm going to lay the colours across my canvas, I'm then going to swipe it and then going to torch it to create some cells. Um, I've quite, I've, I've got a, what is this, 30 by 40 centimetre canvas. I quite fancy doing a bit of a, a curved shape across my canvas. Just thinking what shape to do. I think I might just go with a kind of S shape. Right, this is the order I'm going to go in. So let's just start, let's just start with one of the colours, so the purple. So if I put my colours down and then I can, I will thicken up the lines after. So I'll have a, maybe about an inch of each colour, I think. canvas is covered so I'm now going to start swiping. I fancy doing a patchwork swipe which means swiping just a little block at a time and then changing the angle. I'm going to swipe with a piece of plastic. I'm just going to start, I'm really not sure where to start, how to start so I'm just going to, just going to start So just swiping across a block. And then swiping at right angles to it. Right, all swiped, really, really pretty. I think I'm gonna leave it like that and now torch it because I think, because I haven't swiped each section more than one time, I think I'm going to get some blocks of the plain color, but then also some cells. 
Uh, there's just something slightly funny happening there. I might just do a odd couple of extra odd swipes. I just, I don't, maybe I've dripped it there. I'm not sure what's happened there. So a couple of extra swipes, but in the direction that's already been, I've already swiped. Right, let's torch it, see what happens. So I quite like it, but it's a bit too solid colours. I'm, I'm a bit disappointed the colours haven't quite blended enough. There are some sections where like here they have blended and up here. Or do I like that? I just feel like there's a few places I'd like to re-swipe to get the colours to merge a bit more. Like here, massive purple sections. If I could bring that purple over the other colours, I just feel like it might look prettier. Right, I've got much more of a blend now. Let's see what happens cell-wise when I torch it. I'm so incredibly glad I swiped it again. I love it. So the colours have blended so much more. I ended up swiping every single patch two or three times. So there is much more of a blend. The cells are absolutely beautiful. These colours together, so excited about this colour scheme. It is beautiful. Um, love, love turquoises and I love purple. So to have them together side by side... It's so, so pretty. And the white there, it just brightens the whole thing. Really happy. The paints are reasonably thin. They're mixed with PVA glue and water, two to one, two parts pouring medium to one part paint. So it's a relatively thin mix. So I might find that these cells do distort a little bit. Look, it's not interesting. If you look this way, you can see the little pits from the silicon. Really, really happy. Um, so I'll be back when it's dry. I'm so, so happy with this colour scheme. Really beautiful. I love turquoises and I just love that extra bit of blue and purple in there um, and the silver and the white. Really, really happy with this colour, with this colour palette. Um, also really happy with the painting. So if you look from afar, you can see the where I've laid down the paint. So you've got a line of purple, a line of turquoise. You can see the, the sort of the S shape where I poured the paint on. But then if you look up close, you've just got this amazing network of cells, all different shapes and sizes. You can see the patches. They're not totally distinct, but I just think that actually adds to it. Um, I've done one of these pours before where I've actually painted on afterwards some little lines to make it more obvious. But I don't really think it needs it because 
it's just chaos. It's crazy and it's chaotic, but I just think that works. So for example, there, you don't have a clear, clearly defined edge to that box, but does it matter? I just think it makes it actually look more abstract. I've got an eye, I <laughs> just noticed the eye. Um, I just, yeah, more abstract, more fun, more colorful, more chaotic really really happy with it really it's just a really fun painting the iridescent green blue uh, sorry the iridescent blue green really shines through which you can see this color here and this this color here um if i show you in the light you can see how iridescent it is um, i'm very tempted to put a border onto this and um, what i quite like doing with pores is just hand painting a border and a shadow just to almost complete it um, not, I'm not sure if it needs it. The edges, I'm not particularly keen on the edges. They're fine. I think they just look a little bit scruffy, so I might well paint a border on. Um, what do you think? Do you like the patchwork effect? Um, what do you think of this colour scheme? Um, please let me know. Great, thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye.